Hi there. Now, in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to an ellipse. That's this red curve that you see here. And it's defined as the locus of a point P that moves in such a way that when we compare the distance P to a fixed point S and P to a fixed straight line, when we compare those distances, PS to PM, if it remains a constant value, which we'll call E, and E lies between 0 and 1, then the locus of P is an ellipse. This value of E is called the eccentricity, and we'll be looking at that in later videos. The point S is called the focus of the ellipse, and this fixed straight line is called the directrix. Names that you might have met in earlier tutorials when we looked at the parabola. So, what I want to do in this video is talk to you just about the Cartesian equation and the parametric equations of an ellipse. Now, if we take an ellipse then and put it on axes x and y, then it can be shown that the Cartesian form of the equation is of the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, where a and b are constants. And as I say, later on, I'll prove to you that via the definition of the locus of a point P that moves round the ellipse, we can generate this equation. Now, what's important then is these points where it crosses the x-axis and where it crosses the y-axis. So when it crosses the y-axis, that will be when x equals 0. And when x equals 0, it follows from here that we end up with y squared over b squared equals 1. So y squared will equal b squared, and from this, y would equal plus or minus b. And if I put those points in, we've got b up here and we've got minus b down here. And similarly, if I let y equal 0, find out where it crosses the x-axis, it follows that x squared will equal a squared. And from this, it follows that x will equal plus or minus a. So marking those points in, we've got a there and minus a there. So hopefully you can see the meaning of these values, these two constants a and b. It's also important to learn a definition, and that is that if we take this distance across here from minus a to a, that is referred to as the major axis. Okay, so we've got the major axis there. And similarly, if we take from minus b up to b, then that is called the minor axis. So just put that in there, minor axis. OK, so that's our Cartesian form then for the equation of an ellipse. Now, the other form that I want to talk to you about is called the parametric form. And for this, we should be able to see that x equals a cosine t, a cos t for short, and y equals b sine t, will work for this particular equation. Because, let's just say we call that 1, then these two values for x and y satisfy 1. So I'll just show you, let's just say since this satisfies equation 1. Very easy, basic trigonometry. So should be able to substitute these values into here. And for x squared, you've got a squared cosine squared t. And that's all divided by a squared. And then you've got plus y squared, which is b squared sine squared t. And that's all divided by b squared. And you can see that I can cancel out the a squareds and the b squareds. And what I'm left with is cos squared 
t plus sine squared t. And that's familiar identity, it's equal to 1. So what we have here then is our parametric form for the equation of an ellipse. And in later videos, I'll be doing examples then, for instance, finding equations of tangents and normals. So I hope that's given you an introduction to the two types of forms that we're going to be using. Okay?